Now in this video we are going to learn how to solve trig ratios without a calculator. In our first example we have sine theta is equal to 3 over 5. Theta is restricted between 0 and 90 degrees and we want to find tan. Let's break this information down starting with the restriction. So theta is restricted between 0 and 90 degrees. On the Cartesian plane, what it means, if that is 0 and 90 degrees, the angle size of theta must be somewhere in this quadrant. And sine is 3 over 5. What I can do is represent theta in the first quadrant in a triangle. And I can fill in values of this triangle using the ratio given to me. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So in this triangle from theta, the opposite value is 3 and the hypotenuse value is 5. And that is now how I represent this information. I can now find the length of X. Remember, this is the X axis, so this length is represented on the X axis. So I can find the length of X using Pythagoras. So 5 square, the hypotenuse, is equal to 3 square plus X square. So if I solve X square, X square is equal to 16. And I take the square root on both sides, so x is plus or minus 4. The reason why it is two values is because if x is 4 and I square 4, I'll get 16. And if x is negative 4 and I square negative 4, it'll also give me 16. Now the value that is true for this diagram, we can see that x is positive. These values towards the right is positive, and these values are negative. But this length then is equal to positive 4. So x is equal to plus 4. And now that we have x, we can find tan. So tan theta is equal to the opposite, which is 3, over the adjacent. If you can't remember the trick ratios, you need to go back to the ratio video. Our second example, cos theta is equal to negative 3 over 7. Theta is restricted between 180 and 360 degrees. And we want to find cos theta plus sine theta without a calculator. Let's start with the information presented on theta. Theta is restricted between 180 and 360 degrees. What that means is theta cannot be between 0 and 90 degrees, so that quadrant is out. Theta cannot be between 90 and 180 degrees. Theta must then be in quadrant 3 or in quadrant 4 based on this restriction. And now we have used that information. The second part of the information that we have is cos theta is equal to negative 3 over 7. Now I need to remember the cost diagram. So in the quadrant 1, everything was positive. In quadrant 2, sine was positive. In quadrant 3, tan was positive, and in quadrant 4, cosine is positive. But this value is negative 3 over 7, which tells me that I cannot use that quadrant, because cosine is positive in this quadrant, but the ratio given is negative. What that would mean is that the angle of theta is somewhere between 180 and 270 degrees 
for this ratio to be true. Now I can use this information. Theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So the adjacent value is next to theta. So even though theta is going right around, the side next to theta is negative 3. And then the hypotenuse is 7. If you're not sure where to put the negative, this value of the hypotenuse will always be positive. And you can also see on the number line, if x is represented on a number line, these values on the right are considered positive values, and these values on the left are considered negative values. So because my triangle is on the negative side, that value for x would be negative. It's the same for the value which we will find for y. The value for y, because it's below the axis, would be negative. If the triangle were to be in quadrant 2, the y value would be positive because I'm going upwards. But because I'm going down, I know that this y value would be a negative value. Now, I can use the diagram which I've drawn to solve y. And I solve y by using Pythagoras. So 7 squared is equal to negative 3 squared plus y squared. 7 squared is 49. Negative 3 squared is 9. And then I move the 9 over. So 40 is equal to y squared. Therefore, y is plus or minus the square root of 40. Just a note. It's okay to have a square root value. In grade 11 we are going to revise how to rewrite CERNs, but for this example we are going to continue with the square root of 40. So the y value then is the square root of 40, but we are going down, so it is negative square root of 40. Now that I have all the lengths of this triangle, I can solve the other ratio which I need. I was given cos theta is negative 3 over 7, and now I can find sine theta. Even though theta is a reflex angle, I still work from this position. So negative 3 would be the adjacent value, and negative square root of 40 would be opposite, and 7 is the hypotenuse. So Sine of theta would be opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, sine theta is negative square root of 40 over 7. And now I can simplify the question. Cos theta was given as negative 3 over 7. I want to add the sine of theta, which is negative square root of 40 over 7. And for now, we don't have to simplify this because we want to solve without the use of a calculator. It is okay to leave this as your final answer. Please do not feel the need to force the issue to create a simpler fraction. This is perfectly fine.